Scarves are a quick and fun project that use just a few balls of yarn. In this video, I'll teach you my top techniques for making your own stunning scarves. Hi, I'm Stephanie Jappel, a designer and instructor on Craftsy.com. The first thing you'll need to do is to cast on. I find that the long tail cast on works great for almost any project. It's easy to remember how to do it and it creates a really clean looking edge. First, make a slip knot. Then put your thumb and finger between the yarn tails and use the needle to scoop the yarn from the index finger through the loop on the thumb and place it onto the needle. One thing that can happen while knitting a scarf is that the edges look sloppy or wavy. This can be due to any number of things. First, make sure that you're not accidentally increasing at the edges. Next, if your edge is really untidy and loose, it might help you to slip the first stitch of each row instead of knitting it. If your scarf has a textured stitch pattern like this Rainbow Ridge scarf from Lion Brand Yarn does, your finished edge will look much neater if you bind off in stitch pattern. This means that if you come to a purl, you purl, then slip the last stitch over. If you come to a knit, you knit and then slip the last stitch over. You also want to be sure not to bind off too tightly. You can use a needle two sizes larger to bind off if that's your problem. In order to really show off the work you've done, it's a great idea to block your scarf. You can use either pins or blocking wires along each edge and apply a blast of steam from an iron. Or you can dunk the whole thing in a nice warm bath and lay it flat to dry. Once you've finished blocking it, you can see that my scarf looks textured, tidy, and terrific. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, you can click the I in the top right corner of this video to learn more knitting techniques or to find the supplies I've been using.